Hey guys and gals, uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Valuing Stocks. So today what I want to talk about is why in my mind and in my opinion investing in stocks is better than investing in real estate. Now uh, you may not think this is true, but I want to show you a few examples to maybe convince you that it is true. But if you look at the realm of stocks, which you've got probably, you know, 5,000 to choose from in the U.S., uh, you've got 500 big companies that comprise, like mega companies that comprise the S&P 500 index. If you look at those stocks, the uh, the the difference between the high and the low price in let's say a one year period for a lot of those stocks even like the mega cap like I got Facebook I have Facebook up on the screen here and I'll show you a few other examples even for those big companies you will have swings of 30 to 40 percent is not uncommon from the high to the low or the low to the high and uh so and and that happens every you know almost every year so you, there's ample opportunity to buy low sell high even in these mega cap stocks and you would think that efficient market theory if it were as true as some people believe it to be that this would not be the case i mean how can you have a company uh, like Facebook or like Apple be valued so, you know, 40% lower or higher than a certain point of time in the last year. I mean, how, how, how does the business value change that much? So what I want to do is, is show you a couple of examples. So this is just a, this is Finviz, uh, one of my favorite websites to look at charts. And uh, they've got some fundamental data down here. But if you look at, this is the last, uh, going back into until about last November, so it's not quite a full year. You can see that uh, this is less than a year, right? And if, if we took this $130-ish low to this 210 high, right? So what is that? doing math in my head on the spot. So that's, that's an $80 difference, right? Um, $80 on top of this $130 number is, what, that's, that's more than a 50% jump from 130 up to 210, right? And in real estate, I don't think you have those big of swings in that amount of time typically right i mean if your house went up 20 percent in a year that's like a, a, a huge year right if it goes up five percent in a year that's that's a huge year so if you know what the intrinsic value of some of these stocks uh, uh what, what 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 it is what that number is right then you can take advantage when it dips below what you believe fair value to be and when it goes above. So you, you can buy it when it's substantially below your fair value price and sell it when it's uh, at or above your fair value price. So there's Facebook. Let's look at Apple now. Get rid of this ad. So look at Apple here. You've got, this is less than a year, remember. Uh, I believe, yeah, less than a year. Uh, maybe this is an eight-month chart. I don't know. So you've got uh, going from 220 here down to 145-ish, back up to 220, down to 170, up to oh, about 220 again, now back down a little bit. So you can see how many times and how big those swings are. I mean, if you're going from 150 back to 220, right, that's like that's a 50 
percent gain there pretty much almost 40 to 50 percent gain right and then going back down back up you know maybe another 30 percent uh change there so if you if you know in your mind which i kind of had a fair value around uh 200 for apple um then then you know when to buy when to sell and you can make money even multiple times a year and I, and I don't think people realize that even with mega cap stocks where all the, this uh, of the information about the company is supposed to be baked into the market and it's, it's publicly available information right how in the world do we have those swings that's the gift of the market and the curse of the market and so if you can train yourself psychologically and over time through practice of when is a good time to get in when is a good time to get out uh you, you can make a lot more money than um if you were to just say i'm just going to hold it you know right um then you still make money but maybe maybe not as much if you were a little bit more nimble and sticking to your fair value number all right tesla um this is another one uh you went from all the way from uh, what is this three let's say 375 down to 170 ish 180 ish right you basically cut cut in half so that's a 50 percent decline and then going from that 170-ish number up to, let's say, 260 recently, right? That's another $90, $90 on top of this 170. I don't know why this keeps popping up. Let's see. So 90 on 170. It's like about a 50% gain there, right? Is, am I doing the math right? right? Uh I think so. So, um, huge, wild, I mean, big swings. You wouldn't, you, you don't normally think that's the case with big, big cap stocks, mega cap stocks, but it is. And um, I, I think you should fully take advantage of that. And so, what I want to do with this channel, I'm going to try and be more consistent about posting videos and, you know, picking certain stocks that I think look attractive, trying to tell you what I think the fair value is, but more importantly, wanting to teach you how to determine fair value for a particular stock. If, if you use that knowledge, um, along with the knowledge that stocks, even large ones, have pretty dang big s swings throughout a one year period, then you can know that, hey, you know, Maybe this is kind of a bottom for uh, maybe if you did the, the, the you know the, I'm not saying anything about Tesla right now but let's say you did a research and you're like uh, I think fair value is up here I'm pretty certain then you know when it gets down here you know you think, ah it's getting pretty cheap then you know it might be a good time to buy and there's different uh, mechanisms that I'd like to teach on my channel uh, that I use different tools like options and different options type trades to kind of define your risk and um, and, and make a uh, well-reasoned uh, wager I guess or, or I don't I don't like to use betting terms I, I don't think the stock investing in stocks is anything like gambling if you are doing your homework doing the research and there's a fundamental basis for your belief Anyway, that's enough uh, going on about 10 minutes now. If you like this video and are interested in more videos like this, um, I'll try and, uh, and spice it up in future videos. But if, if you really just want to learn um, how to make money in the stock market and you're looking for a good side hustle, I think I have another video that uh, talks about why I think investing in stocks is the ultimate side hustle if you're interested in that please hit the uh, subscribe button wherever it is and hit the bell 
so you get alerts, you get notified from the YouTube app when I post a new video. All right, thanks, guys.